Um, I want to touch on one game that you alluded to earlier because I know you're a big fan of them. Uh, Red Dead Redemption Two. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's um, let's touch on Red Dead for a bit because um, sure. What it's kind of a similar sort of subject. What do you see in the future of Red Dead? So what would Red Dead Three entail, or what would you want it to be about? What I would like for that would be instead of going up in time, you know, early 1900s where the West was non-existent, is that we go back to when the West was at its high. Because all the, you know, John and Arthur's stories set during the twilight of the, the West, yeah. but, you know, 1870s where, you know, Southeastern USA was outlaw country. Um, that would be great. Um, it's mad, isn't it? Make it a go back in time and not necessarily play as someone you know, you know, Arthur, Dutch, whatever, but have someone else, maybe make it the classic Western revenge story. Um, <laughs> kind of like maybe a guy is on a, a, a hunt to avenge his family who was killed by a rival gang or, or something. And, and then, you know, in order to get to those, maybe you meet some familiar faces along the way, maybe a young Dutch and Arthur and, and whatnot. Maybe in the 1880s, what, I think Arthur, he would only be around 20 there. That could be pretty fun to see. And just a younger version of everybody. And, and John, you no, know, John Marston, he would be, he would be a little boy then. <laughs> so um, that could be pretty fun. Um, just go back to, you know, the highlights of the West. That would be cool. My and then, theory and then, is... And then make it, a, yeah, kind of a classic Western, more of a classic Western story, but then again, meet familiar faces along the way. That'd be cool. That would be what I would love there. Yeah, I think that would be cool. Um, Because my theories, I've got two theories. It's either going to be a prequel to Red Dead 2, so it keeps going back, or it's going to be in Australia, because there's a few mentions of Australia Oh well, yeah, it's so, Australia or Tahiti. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I think yeah. it's either going to be one of those. Yeah. Australia was a similar was a bit similar, wasn't it? Yeah. Got the outback and stuff. Yeah. But um, but now it would just be fun. 1880s, also some of the politics at the time, you know, the um, the genocide of the Native Americans, maybe, because we already you know touch upon that and read that too, towards the end, especially. Um, you know, where you fight the government and the army um, who are, you know, threatening the natives. Um, yeah, I think I had an idea years ago. It would, it would, could be a fun story, you know, maybe a dad, a, a man who, you know, he's an ex outlaw now, but some rival gang has kidnapped his daughter or something. And the game starts off with, you know, him and the boys going into, let's save her. But that mission goes totally awry and, you know, a lot of casualties. And then a few years later, you know, he sets he sets out on the hunt to find his daughter's killers. And that sets him on quite the adventure. But then again, for map, like, then it would be because they recreated some real life, more real life places, kind of like, because, you know, New Austin, which is, you know, the desert area, it's very loosely, not based on anything necessarily. And sites like Monument Valley, you know, the mesas, um i've been there in real life it's the sickest place ever like um mm. you know what i'm talking about it's the place you see in every western film yeah uh maybe i can find the picture here actually um but um but yeah um but you know kind of maybe recreate those real landscapes uh the monument valley or even though similar landscapes are down in mexico but whatever mm. no just more desert and maybe some small towns and if there are any other cities maybe early California or something. I don't know. Sounds if anything, good. just go, go more west because a lot of RDR2 was east or in the Midwest, you know. And down Gotta in the south. And, west. Yeah, and down in the south and, and whatnot. So it'd be pretty fun just to stay in the west, the real west for once. <laughs> yeah, I think with, uh, it has to do that. Place. That's me oh, there yeah. with, you know, with, the, with the maces and such. Oh, wow place sickest place there it's in navajo so yeah it's such a cool place isn't that a re yeah, reservation am... that's a reservation isn't it yeah uh, navajo yeah. indian reservation monument yeah. valley or something i think it's yeah. called but yeah in general if anything i don't see, think we'll see another red dead game for at least five more years you know considering how long rockstar take with their games and <laughs> all they put out nowadays is 
constant GTA online remasters and uh, mm. they're gonna, you know, remaster that until the PS10. So <laughs> they release it on every console. And, and, and even more flying motorcycle. Like if some people think Assassin's Creed went bad, just look at GTA Online. Like what? It went from street hustling to World War 20 with sci-fi motorcycles and guns and whatnot. So <laughs> so pathetic especially having played it from day one eight years ago so kind of pathetic but yeah i can only hope rockstar will will not be act like sellouts on gta 6 if, if again that ever comes out but yeah they're just making so much money already are one and two so many years before we see a red dead three or something if if it is yeah um i played red dead so online and it was terrible I, I played oh, the, not as good. My God. It's, it's really it's really grindy. Not a whole lot of stuff to do. Maybe you can have some shenanigans with friends, but other than that, this mm. everything is just in the story mode there. Yeah. Story yes. mode is so much better. It's again like Black Flag, it's one of those games where doing nothing is so fun. Like literally just wayfaring, exploring nooks and crannies and whatnot is the best. Did you um see the the, the uh, UFO. Did you do that? In RDR2, I never found that yet. Yeah, you go in this little cabin and at a certain time and it's a lot of... Oh, yeah, up. yeah. Oh, I remember. Oh. I saw that. It's this house of dead people. And that's what I love about Rockstar is, is all... They also have these supernatural elements here and there. You remember the Strange Man? Strange Man, right. which which one's that? You played the original Red Dead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the strange man. Is that guy? He's a stranger. He kind of has a top hat. And John kind of meets him. Oh. But, and I you can actually so. find a cabin in the second one where there's a painting of him. And then you briefly see a ghost of him. Like, it's oh. pretty creepy. I'll, um, he's such an interesting character. Like, some people say he's the devil or something. And he's like John's idea of it, or he's some supernatural being. So that's kind of freaky. Yeah. Yeah. There's a vampire in there as well. Oh, yeah. I haven't found that guy yet, but yeah, it, it takes a while. I didn't do it. I just watched it on YouTube. That's it another thing. Um, what I love about, um, I, I saw a lot of Edward Kenway in a character like Arthur Morgan, actually. You know, the guy who starts out kind of brash. He really just wants what's good for himself. But then as he starts mm -hmm. losing more and more, you know, he starts seeing the big, the bigger picture and, you know, decides to use the last of his honor to do good for others who actually need it. That's true. Arthur, you know, he, he's a doomed man. He knows he's dead and kind of like Edward, you know, he, he's lost everyone. You know, he cared about Mary, uh, Blackbeard, Caroline, everybody. So he has a choice to make. Do I want to, drown in self-pity or, or make sure no more people die so that's a good point i've never thought about that at least character wise my favorite uh assassin's creed character for sure so i've never thought about that before to be fair you're right there is a lot of similarities yeah hmm. there definitely is yeah um so that's that yeah uh red dead it's, it's a long game but i'll Red Dead 2, well, both games, really. Brilliant. They're, they're long well, games, but I'll play them over and over. It's one of my favorite video game universes, that's that's for sure. So, yeah. Wicked, yeah. mate.